Hey, what's up everyone? CTA Technology News here, and today I'm taking a look at OS X Yosemite, which is Apple's brand new operating system for the Mac. So, Yosemite is as much a stylistic improvement as anything else. Apple's actually taken a lot of inspiration from iOS 7 and iOS 8 in building their new operating system. It's got translucent windows this time around, similar to the mobile operating system, and a lot of the icons look very familiar as well. With that said, there's still a lot of the core functionality that's remained the same. There's a dock at the bottom of your screen, just as always. There's still a menu bar at the top, and also there are all the same settings and options and keyboard shortcuts and gestures that you'll be familiar with if you've used OS X before. Now Yosemite's only changed a couple of small things, for instance there's no full screen button in the top right corner of a window, you actually just press the green button in the stoplight menu instead. Also Spotlight doesn't actually pop up in the corner of your screen anymore, but it actually pops up in the center so it's you know got more visibility, which I guess is a good thing. Now Safari's actually got a number of improvements, Safari's actually a lot faster in loading pages, so you know that's really really cool, and also there's also a list of frequently used sites that appears every time you click on the address bar, and that's really handy. Also, the visual tab switcher is another really good improvement. If you're not already using another browser, you should definitely give the new Safari a try. Now, OS X Yosemite also has a lot more continuity, and by that I mean it can actually communicate with your iOS devices a lot better. So if you're actually using an iPhone or iPad running iOS 8.1, and a Mac running Yosemite, and you have Bluetooth on both, also, if you're logged into the same iCloud account, you can even make and receive calls from your computer, you can use AirDrop between Mac and iOS for the first time, you can remotely activate the hotspot feature on the iPhone and use it connect to connect to your Mac to the internet, which is actually really, really cool. Also, sharing data between devices is automatic once you get the setup right, and is also surprisingly pervasive. For instance, when you open a new tab on your Mac or start composing an email, an icon appears in the bottom left corner of your iPhone's lock screen, which you can actually tap on, and it'll actually take you to exactly the same point where you left off on your Mac. It definitely makes a case, a compelling case, for the entire Apple ecosystem and buying into a lot of Apple devices, which I know, I'm sure that's what Apple is going for. Now, OS X Yosemite also has a lot of small improvements to existing apps. Mail's gotten some improvements. There's a new Today View, which actually is quite cool. You've got your calendar and your few widgets just a two-finger swipe away, which is really, really easy to access, and you'll even forget it's there. You know, I would definitely recommend upgrading to OS X Yosemite. I mean, there's really no good reason not to. You know, it's got a lot of, you know, really cool improvements. And even if you don't like a lot of revolutionary design overhauls, you really don't have anything to worry about. OS X Yosemite works very similarly to Leafs Mavericks, it's just got a slightly tweaked design, which actually looks pretty cool. You know, if you're looking for a really brand new revolutionary overhaul, you're not going to get it here, but for everyone else, this is a great upgrade to get right now. So anyways, give me your opinions in the comments below, and I will see you next time.